today's video I'm going to tell you guys why you should not buy this Potec power source. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Green. If it's your first time here, you may want to consider subscribing because we do some pretty cool things here on the channel. We do everything from vlogs, camping, hiking, fishing, gun shooting, hunting, you name it, reviews. We just, we do all kinds of stuff here. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below if you want to see some cool stuff. Um, but today's video, the reason you clicked on it, the reason you're here is this Potec power source I do not want you guys to buy this product this thing could be very dangerous and I want to give you guys a warning so if you've seen these on Amazon that's where I bought mine from I don't even know if you can buy them anywhere else it may be an Amazon only type uh, product but if you follow the channel at all you'll know that back uh, late summer early fall I purchased a rooftop tent for my Nissan Frontier so me and my wife and my son could go out and do some camping trips <clears throat> When I did that, I went on Amazon and I bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon, camping stuff, uh, that I thought would be beneficial for these said trips. Um, with that being said, this is one of the products that I bought. I've done a review on this, I think, already, or at least I've showed it to you guys in one of my camping videos. But this is the Potec Power Source. It is um, a 1500 amp jump starter, number one. Number two, it is a 150 PSI air compressor and it is a 300 watt inverter. So basically the reason that I wanted it is because it seemed too good to be true. It done so many functions that it seemed too good to be true and that has proven itself here and now. So this thing, not only will it jumpstart your vehicle if it dies, which is great when you're camping, um, it also is an air compressor. So if you wanted to air down or if you got a flat tire or air started leaking, you can use this thing and air your tires back up. Number three, it is an inverter. It has USB ports on it, it has a 12 volt power supply on it, and it has two 120 outlets on the back. So you can plug anything you want to into this and charge it. I use it on the camping trips to keep my little boy's uh, iPad playing at night so we can watch movies when we lay down to go to bed. I charge my cell phone with it, my wife's cell phone with it. I charge my some of my camping lights. I charge my camera that you guys are um, watching me through right now. I charged all my laptops and everything when we would go on these trips. It also worked well when I go out of town on hunting trips. I can just take this thing, keep it in the truck. If I need power, it's there. Seemed way too good to be true. Um, it's very appealing, especially for the price point you get this at. And I guess that goes back to say you, you get what you pay for. Uh, sometimes you just gotta learn things the hard way and daggum it if I don't always learn everything. <laughs> that way it seems like um, sometimes you pinch pennies and sometimes you don't. Don't pinch pennies on this. Go buy you a good power supply. A Goal Zero is the first one that comes to brain. They're, they're really expensive, but if it, they don't do what this does, I can promise you that. So let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory on why I'm not going to recommend this to you guys. A little over a month, two months ago, my buddy, my best friend actually, he lives next door. He has a F-250. It's been sitting for a really long time. He said, hey man, you care if I borrow your jumper and get my truck started? I think the battery's bad, but let's see if we can start it, let it run, see if it'll um, charge the battery itself or if I need to buy a new battery. So I got out in the garage and we took this thing, plugged it up. It has these little terminal connectors here go straight to your battery just like any jumper cables would or a jump starter would plugged it up to his truck it fired right up he said hey i've got to leave and i'm going to be gone for a while can you you know let this truck run cut it off for me and i said yeah i'll let it run about 30 minutes i'll cut it off i'll see if it'll start back up or not for you so that's what i did 30 minutes later i turned the truck off started went to start it back up truck wouldn't start so i pretty much knew his battery was bad then but i thought well i want to give this thing another chance and jump started off one more time. I'm gonna let it run for an hour this time, see if it charges his battery. So I get this back out, set it on the engine bay of his truck, and plug it up to the battery, try to start it three or four times. It won't start. So I get out of the truck, I go around just to check my terminals, make sure everything is connected well and it's making a good connection to the battery. And um, I notice smoke is coming out of this thing. 
So I hurry up and rush, get this thing off of his truck, unplug it. I set it over on the uh, pavement in my driveway, away from any cars, away from my garage, from my house, away from everything. So within that 15 to 20 seconds, I set this thing down. It is no longer just smoking. It is bellowing smoke out of it. And um, within a matter of 15 to 20 seconds after that, this thing is spontaneously combusted and is legit flaming. So I'm gonna try to show you guys. I got, oh, it's wet where it's been outside. So that is the aftermath of what has happened. That big hole, yeah, that's not, that's not stock. These things don't come that way. Basically on the power terminal here, the red, the hot terminal, I guess you would say, um, the, there was something internal in this thing that did not have a good connection and was arcing the battery cells. I don't know. Something went wrong, but this thing straight up went into flames. So I hurried up and rushed, grabbed my water hose because I don't have a fire extinguisher handy, and I started soaking this thing down. The uh, wiring and the air compressor must have burned up, and it was sitting there kicking on. The air compressor was just running while this thing's getting soaked down and I'm trying to put the flames out and um, I let it sit there I, I go back to doing my thing and literally within an hour the compressor starts brrr, kicking on again and this thing starts smoking again so I hurry up and rush spread it back down and like I said that's been a month maybe two months ago and this thing's been in that same spot ever since I haven't touched it I didn't want to bring it inside I wanted to keep it so I could do this video for you guys, but I wanted to make sure that this thing was like legit dead. Wasn't gonna be like Terminator and come back on me or anything. I really don't wanna bash this company. I'm not a, a company basher. I understand things happen. Hopefully this is the only one in existence that's ever done this. I don't want anybody else to have this issue. This could be a major safety issue, especially if you're like me. When I went on these camping trips, when I come home, this thing was used, so I would charge it. So this thing would come in my studio room here, set in the corner, plug it up, and I'd let this thing charge. Um, when it was done charging, I would unplug it from the wall and it would sit here for three, four, five days, sometimes a week or longer. Um, and if it wasn't in here, it was in my garage. And I don't know what caused it. I'm assuming there's some sort of connection, but this thing could have done this while it was in my house and burned my house down, number one. And even worse than that, it could have done it while my family was here and we would have been in a trapped in a house fire potentially um i mean you never know what could happen so i want to warn you guys don't pinch pennies and, and go buy this potec i don't want to bash them in any way but i did reach out through the amazon um channels and contacted the seller that i bought this from through amazon and went through the proper routes and i still have yet to hear back from them and i did that the night that this happened yet to hear back from them so potec if if you guys are watching this reach out to me i would like to have some sort of resolution i don't want another one um this is pretty much just done it in for me but i would like for them to make this route yeah it was like 125 dollars but 125 dollars is a lot of money to me it may not be to some of you guys watching but uh, 125 dollars is a lot of money to me i mean that's two or three utility bills at my house um that's food on the table for a week. That's that's a lot of money. So, Potec, I would like some sort of resolution. If you guys happen to stumble across this, leave me a comment. Email me jeepstertn88 at gmail.com. Let me know what you you know what you can do for me. If you are a um, a buyer that's interested in a power source, portable power source, stay far away, guys. I actually have some clips from the day that this fiasco happened now i was not prepared so i didn't have my big camera or anything so all this is going to be cell phone so it's going to be vertical footage instead of the horizontal cinema types footage that you guys are used to seeing on this channel so bear with me but i mostly was just um, recording it to send to my buddy and be like hey this this thing about burnt your truck down basically um and that's another thing i could have walked away and this thing's not going to start walked and ate supper and left this thing on my buddy's truck and it burnt his truck down and then there i would have been having to buy a new truck for him so there's just a lot of bad things that could have came from this luckily i knew what i was doing and i knew how to, to act upon the situation in front of me um but i've got those clips so i'm gonna throw them in here leave me a comment as you guys are watching this tell me how crazy this is and if you've ever had anything quite like this happen to you and uh, let me know what you think so let's go ahead and drop that footage down i turned it off and it wouldn't start back and i went to uh start it up again and as you can tell this thing, 
<laughs> didn't like it too much. I mean, it is bellowing the smoke out of here. after the compressor started running for no reason and I, it's it's smoldering again I literally put this thing out with a water hose I ran this thing for with water on it for three or four minutes and it is legit burning again all right guys so you've seen the footage um pretty wild just to see this thing just burst into flames um, that's pretty much it I wanted to bring this video to you guys more or less uh, a is a review and B is a warning. Don't buy this thing. It could potentially um, cause some damage or harm somebody. Uh, if you leave it in your vehicle, that's another thing. I left this thing in my vehicle for a really long time just because, hey, it's a jump starter. You never know, might run into somebody that needs a jump or I may need a jump. Could have burned my truck. I mean, it's just, it's bad. This is a bad situation. Stay clear. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. This was a quick video, a little update, and a warning to all my viewers, especially you camper guys out there that's been following the build on the truck and this and that. Um, just spend a little more money, save up, and buy you a nice Goal Zero. And uh, yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. Be sure, uh, oh, I've actually got an idea for a new little just crazy outro just to be different instead of being like peace like I normally do. Let's try something different today. I'm going to go with a voice. I'm not the best at it, so just slay me if you don't like it oh well this is what we're going with from now um appreciate y'all for tuning in today check out the two videos listed below if you haven't seen them click on those watch them if you have seen them watch them again for me this little thing right here that means you're just gonna go ahead and subscribe to the channel oh yeah and that's all i got for you guys today oh yeah <coughs> oh that hurt my voice